Hey, what's up, guys? Grown the Hobby coming back to you guys with another baseball break today, guys. Another Turn Back Tuesday baseball break. That's right. We're going to go big rookie hunting. Uh, big SP hunting, that is, today, guys. I'm going to try and clue you in here real quick with the background cards as to what roughly we are looking for. I'm going to get you into roughly the era that we're looking at. Not the exact year, but a couple of cards I want to throw up for luck. I'm going to throw up my 1989 Donruss rated rookie Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card. We're going to throw him up right there. From 1989 Fleer, the Bill Ripken F blank blank K face. As you guys can read it and see it for yourselves. Air card there. Pulled that out of a box here within the last year. We're probably going to hunt that card again in the future, maybe one more time. And center stage, guys, I'm going to throw you for a loop. My PSA 5, 1986 Fleer, Michael Jordan. What? Yep, Michael Jordan. That's right. What the heck does basketball have to do with baseball today, guys, in the break? Well, that's simple, guys. If you guys didn't know, Michael Jordan did have a brief stint uh, in baseball with the Chicago White Sox. And that being said, he has a nice 1991 Upper Deck rookie card. And a PSA 10 form goes for about three to $400 uh, currently in today's prices. Um, it's tough to pull, but we're going to take a shot because I got a sealed box of 1991 upper deck that's right we're going to break this entire box we're going to fly through it because it's going to be a lot of cards and a lot of packs um you guys can check out the box for yourself you can see what you can find in here find the nolans the big promo that they kind of offered at the time nothing much to see on the back and stuff like that but here we go guys we're just going to get right into it because it's a lot of cards we'll talk as we go through this but let's get this broke open and fly through a lot of this because it's again just a ton 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 of cards but all i'm looking for guys is one card i mean there's other great cards in here don't get me wrong but today for my mission michael i want one of the michael jordan baseball rookie cards um let's see how we can display this <coughs> man it's tough to even get this on camera tons and tons of packs guys we're gonna really get through these though you can see what the packs look like and uh as we get into this let's hope for not some serious stickage the pack stickage with this foil breaking is going to be a little bit rough, I see. Upper Deck, as I recall, just absolutely torments the heck out of me, especially in this period, um, because they will have these cards flipped every which way you can imagine, upside down and all around, um, because that's what they do. So, I, you know, pardon me, guys, but I'm not going to flip every single one of these cards because it's just too, too time-consuming. I'll show you guys that one because uh, that's a nice little Nolan Ryan there, guys. You can check that out. But, uh, yeah. Just a pain in the butt. Um, so for anybody that complains with how you know Tops is today, nice Tony Gwynn. Oh, Barry Bonds, that's some good ones we're getting into here. And there's our sticker. You guys can see these. I'm not going to turn all these around, but I'll show you one of these uh, Kansas City Royal cards there. Not cards, but stickers. Pena. And Pet. So there you go. Um, yeah, guys, these are just absolutely insane how they have these every which way around. The Tops cards today, yeah, you get at least a few of them in same order uh, as far as like not having to turn them around stuff like that but these ones are just absolutely all over the place um and i'll try and stop if i can if i see anything wild as i try to read these upside down um if we come across anything of significance again guys I'm sorry for that glare guys i'm seeing that glare i'm trying to work with you guys but it's a little bit rough sometimes with these glare uh, there you go guys all right. If I actually turned every one of these cards around and kind of appreciate every last one of these, this would probably be an hour long video for how long this will take to get through. So, pardon me that I'm not going to do that this time, guys. I normally do those kind of things because I want to show you guys the cards and appreciate the cards. But, like I said, this is all about one thing today, guys, for me. And I hope, hope, hope that we pull one of these. I've actually never pulled one of those before. I'll show you guys the back of this uh, fielder's feet there. Successful fielder. All right. I think it's, is it 24 or 36 packs in here? I don't even think it labels it on the box, but I want to say it's like, it might be 36 packs even, Ugh, which is a lot. A lot of cards to get through, guys. And I mean, uh, it's not like I'm not going to appreciate these because after the video is done and stuff like that and, I'll drive you guys nuts by taking forever. I will check these out for myself and go through these and appreciate them and stuff like that. 
That's why I put a lot of them in my PC. But like I said, we were looking for one thing and one thing only. Nice Andy Van Slyke there and Jose Canseco. Back to back. Good ones for me. I was a Buccos fan. That's uh, kind of my main thing why I'm really appreciating that. Come on, Michael. Where are you at? Where are you at? I think today you can actually still pick up these boxes for uh, a little bit less. We're right around $50 a box, so it's not that bad. Um, it's definitely worth a shot. It's just a cool thing to have in the, the PC. Like I said, I, I really want to get one of these. Uh, nice Nolan Ryan there. I like that that card. That's pretty cool. Um, I'd really like to, to, to get one of these Michael Jordan ones and John Smoltz there uh, for the PC because... Again, I don't have one on my PC, and I've never certainly pulled one. So it would just be a cool card to have. And hopefully in a very, very nice, you know, nice center, nice corners, all that stuff like that. I'd love to send it off to PSA and you know, hope for like a PSA 10. That would just look awesome in the old PC. Um, but we'll see. Robin Ventura there. No, my luck. Flying through these cards and not turn them around or anything like that. Probably wind up flying somehow right through the Michael Jordan card and I won't even notice it. I hope that doesn't happen, but if it does, for gosh sakes, let me know in the comments. But let's hope that doesn't happen. All right. Larry Walker. Chris Sabo, Dante Bichette there. It's an interesting pitcher there to use <laughs> for Stottlemyre. Uh, oh, they're stuck there. And Reggie Sanders. Come on. Sorry, guys. I got a little sidetracked there looking at that upside down court for a minute. I don't know why it was throwing me off. Tony Gwynn again, Barry Bonds. We're getting into the doubles, you know, already. Why can't I get some doubles on the Michael Jordan? <clears throat> All right, come on. Where are you at, Michael? Where are you at? Barry Bonds, their portrait card there, a prospect of John Eric's. That Chicago White Sox sticker I saw a couple packs ago, I was hoping that that was going to be a kind of nice omen for, uh, you know, Michael Jordan card maybe coming off. But not yet, not yet. And let's see. Saline. Remember him uh, growing up as, you know, watching the Buccas and stuff like that. Brent Maine. Come on. Come on. All right. And if for some reason, like the bashing years there of uh, Big Mark McGuire, that's a pretty cool card. For some reason, Frank White, if I do not pull a Michael Jordan... Uh, a rookie card. We got a baseball heroes card there. That's cool. If I do not pull the Michael Jordan out of this box, even one of them, uh, Mark Grace, I will definitely do another one of these boxes. I can guarantee you that on here because I'm going to be determined to get a Michael Jordan rookie card. I mean, I could pay for it, but there's no fun in that. I want to pull my very own. And the boxes, like I said, are still fairly reasonable. So. Take my shot. Nice Ricky Henderson. That's a pretty cool action kind of photo there. The triple. Baseball Heroes. 81 all-time leaders card there. And I'm, I swear, we're already into like triples. Craig Biggio there. I mean, not with every card, obviously. But uh, definitely hit on some of these cards, I think, at least three times. And yet to pull even one. Jordan. So come on. Let's get what we came for, guys. Let's get what we came for. Lee McGee. Steve Sachs upside down there. 
Evan Slyke again, Jose Canseco. Holy smokes, come on. Driving me nuts. Sorry for all the complaining guys, but uh, these old cards are frustrating. Uh, these kind especially where you just half them are upside down and stuff like that. It's, it's a pain in the butt to go through them. Um, and I need a little motivation. The motivation for me in this one is definitely the Michael Jordan. If I pull one of those, that'll definitely motivate me to happily go through the rest of these packs. Um, but it's a little bit tedious when you're not getting anything here. A nice Mike Messina top prospect there. That's a good card. Come on. Definitely into triples. I'm definitely Tom Glavin there. That's a nice one. Definitely uh, remembering seeing some of these three times already. Oh, man, man, man. Come on. All right. Skyano, Chuck Finley. Baseball here is back at home. Probably might not even turn those around to just keep the flow going here, guys. Ozzy Canseco, not to be confused with Jose. Mark Lewis, come on. And I'm going to say that the Michael Jordan is going to be at the end of the pack with his prospect cards, if, uh, if we have it, that is. I feel like we've gone through a bazillion packs already, but quite honestly, as I'm looking at this box, we're literally only about like halfway done. It's just a lot, a lot of cards, a lot of packs to get through. So, appreciate you guys hanging in here with me and stuff like that, Bobby Bonilla. Um, another socks, come on, let's get it. Mickey Morandini, nope. Still no. I might leave with all those, not a bad one. Come on, come on. Groundbreaking, that's a pretty cool looking card. I do like that. Uh, yeah, we're not going to read all that small print right now, but that's a pretty cool looking card. Checklist, the days of the checklist. Those were a pretty common thing, obviously, in the Junk Wax era, which is definitely this time. Oh, all these socks animals, man, come on. Golly. Nope. Randy Johnson, that's actually maybe the first one of those that I've seen. So I'm not saying all these cards are triples, obviously. But I have definitely seen some triples at this point. Trent Miller. Former Buckos prospect there. I do not remember him. But, uh... All right. Dale Murphy looked like that was upside down. Wade Boggs, damn plastic. It's not too shabby. Some of the cards here. Stan Blind, I remember him. Jeff Green, no, 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 no. Pat Kelly. I'd say we're pretty much right at the halfway point. Maybe a pack or two over the halfway point of this box. It's unbelievable. Is I feel like I'm really flying through these packs that uh, it's still taking this long just because it's so many packs and just oh ozzy smith wow zers guys come on i think it's safe to say we're not going to end up with two of them uh if we're lucky enough to get one i will definitely take that but uh based on where we're at so far i'm going to say we are not going to wind up with two of the michael jordans uh for sure i'm just hoping we end up with one at this point. Uh, nice. Sammy Sosa. That's pretty cool. Sammy Sosa. Uh, seems like it's the same stickers too, guys. Lots of Royals, White Sox, and what was the other one? Like Tigers, I think I saw quite a bit of those. I don't recall. Uh, not that that really matters. I'm just making an observation. Kirk Gibson there. That's pretty cool. 
Harold Baines, Sutcliffe, Robin Yount, Dave, Gary Sheffield, Jay Bell, another good bucka, former bucka. Detroit again, as predicted, it seems. Holy heck. I'm going to be so disappointed if we went through this whole box, all these cards, all these packs, all this time, and did not get not one single Michael Jordan. Oh, come on. Holy smokes, guys. <laughs> Come on, Michael. Come on. Let's get some luck. Let's get it going. Come on. Gene Felix. Nolan Ryan there. That's actually the first one of those I think we came across his base card. Honey Dykstra. Michael Lavalier Spanky there. Remember him? Top prospect checklist. It's interesting. It's a really kind of misleading card. All right. Here's what we're going to do. Let's take, as I drop it, of course. Luckily, it's encased. Let's take our Michael Jordan rookie. Let's get a little bit of the basketball slash baseball gods here. Come on. Rub off some of that luck into the remainder of this box. Need me a Jordan. Come on. Need me a Jordan. Let's go. All right. Holy smokes. There's Aileen. Former bucko there again that I remembered. Oh, man, oh, man. I think we're down to, it looks like, right about maybe ten packs. Maybe nine. Uh... Tony Gwynn for the third or fourth time with Barry Bonds behind him. Holy moly, come on. Probably have to sound so whiny right now, but just having a tough time getting motivated here and not getting any, any of what I'm looking for. I was hoping for two of them, quite honestly, not just one, but... Uh, the one's not looking that great. David Justice was there. Andy Van Slate, Jose Canseco again, or Jay Reynolds. Some of these are same sequencing, I see. Rodriguez. Chris Johnson. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull out the rest of these packs out of this box just to kind of get out of the way. Let's rest in there. Right over there. You guys can see for yourself what we're left with. We are getting down to the nitty gritty. Eight packs, including this one. That we have left, so we're running out of chances here, guys. Come on, just one, guys. Just one, that's all I'm asking for. Kyle Ripken Jr., that's the first one of those, actually. David Cohn, uh, Craig Biggio, nope. This is gonna come down to the wire, it's gonna come down to the wire. It's looking more and more like I'm going to have to buy another box of this. Another Larry Walker there that we just went over. Uh, Ryan Sandberger. It's definitely looking like I'm going to wind up having to buy another box, which I was really hoping not to. But the baseball slash basketball gods may not be with us today, as hoped for in the beginning here. Interesting. And Team Card 1917 Revisited there. You guys can check that out for yourselves. Team Card there. Wade Boggs. Andre Scalaraga. I think that's maybe the first one of those, actually, too. So we are seeing some for the first time, which is hopefully a good sign. Sean Dunstan. I think that's his first one, too. Indians. Cordero. Like I've seen this card at least five times now. Anthony Cabrera. What the heck is this? 
I'm not actually sure what that is. Herman Killebrew, that's probably that's probably a really tough hit. Heroes upper deck baseball heroes, Harmon Killebrew. Uh H one. Huh, I'm not really sure how significant that card is. I'll have to look into that more so after, because I'm as you guys know, really just dedicating kind of all my efforts here for uh the Michael. So I'll check into that after. Um, and if I don't hit a Jordan in this, which it's not looking like I'm going to, um, like I said, I'll get another box of this. And if you guys don't tell me in the comments, I'll tell you guys in the next video uh, as far as that Hannes, or I'm sorry, uh, Harmon Killebrew, as far as the significance of that dog on it. Three packs. This is a sad break. <laughs> a very sad break for me, guys. Very, very sad break when you don't get what you want. I mean, I know that uh, you can't expect to always get what you want, but I really thought we had a really good chance of pulling one, um, and possibly more than one, but... Uh, man, definitely not looking good, guys. We're down to two packs. Can't believe this. We're not pulling even one. I hope this ends in dramatic fashion, and we pull it in the very last pack, quite honestly. <laughs> Um, Dale Murphy. Uh, Henderson. Conine. Bobby Witt. Father of Bobby Witt Jr. Here we go, guys. Last pack. Last pack mojo. Come on. Let's end with some fireworks. Some real drama here. Let's get something. Come on. Well, not something. Let's get what we know, what we came for. Come on, man. Uh, last chances. Ugh. I can't believe it, guys. I cannot believe it. As we end with a Glenn Davis kind of portraits card there. We did not get it. So I'm sorry, guys, for that last 20 minutes of your time that we did not get anything. I'm going to say the hit of the box other than some cool base cards is this Harmon Killebrew baseball heroes because, again, I'm not very familiar with this one whatsoever, so I have no idea if that's a hard hit or not. I, I really don't know. could just be a complete common, only worth like 25 cents, but I'll, I'll check in it after. And apparently tell you guys in the next video uh, when we break this at some point here in the future because I'm definitely going to buy another box. I am determined to pull that Michael Jordan baseball rookie card. And doggone it, I'm going to do it, guys. And I promise you I will on camera one way or another. I will buy, buy, buy until we get it. But, yeah, it's going to wrap it up for this Turn Back Tuesday, guys. I hope you still leave a like, subscribe, share, click that bell notification button to be notified of future videos. Lots more of them coming to you guys for sure. As always, in the description below, you guys can find my uh, email address as well as a mailing address if you guys would ever need. Other than that, guys, have a great day, a great night, wherever you guys are at. And we will see you guys next time.